Do you want to know why Long Lewis sells more Fords than anyone in central Alabama? It must be the price. So we clearly mark every vehicle with your best price right up front. There you go, plain and simple. I'm Jeff Cook from Alabama for Long Lewis Ford Lincoln, Highway 150 in Hoover. The July 31st Annual World Deer Expo. Over a thousand booth spaces. T-Bone Turner, Bobby Brantley, Tyler Wood, RJ and J. Paul, and more. Country concerts by Matt Stilwell, Jack White, Kevin Sports, and Sweet Tea. Purchase your tickets online and qualify to win $500,000. That's right, buy your tickets online by July 17th and qualify to win over a half million dollars. The July World Deer Expo, BJCC. With 30 years of experience in German and European auto repair, Mike and Mike's Complete Auto Care has the expertise to properly repair your domestic or foreign vehicles. Specializing in Volkswagen and Audi vehicles, our factory trained technicians will give you quick and courteous service with no long downtime for your repair. Our goal is to get you in and out quickly, properly repaired without the inflated prices of our competition. Mike and Mike's Complete Auto Care. Trust us once and you'll trust us forever. Hi, I'm Jeff Cook from Alabama. Did you know that Long Lewis has won more awards for customer satisfaction than any Ford dealer in the nation? Now that's a Dixieland delight. Long Lewis Ford Lincoln on Highway 150 in Hoover. Dixieland delight. Today's episode is brought to you in part by Long Lewis Ford, Alabama's oldest Ford dealership. Great Days Outdoor Magazine. Mike and Mike Auto Repairs in Pelham. And the original July World Deer Expo BJCC. Hi folks and welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors with Bob Coker. I'm in Yorkton, Saskatchewan again and I'm hunting with McKen Ranch. Folks, we actually come up here to do a little bit of whitetail deer hunting and some elk hunting and if you saw the previous episode or two, you saw some magnificent elk hunting. But this week we're going to show you some whitetail deer hunting. And I'm really excited because Don and Ron caught on a motion detector camera a huge white-tailed deer in this area. He's going to score over 200 and he's running with a couple of other deer that are going to be in the 170s. So we're just hoping that we get an opportunity to take a shot at one of them and we, they saw him somewhere right in this general area. So what we're going to do, I'm going to be taking and filming some elk hunters over the next three or four days, but I'm getting my honey hole set up for my white-tailed deer hunt. So the very first thing I had to do is I had to pack my tree stands in. Now it's a very good and fortunate thing that I've got three days or four days before I start hunting because you really don't want to disturb an area where you're going to hunt a deer of that caliber and that quality. So the first thing you do is you pack that stand in. Once you get it packed in, then you got to delimb the tree. You want to get all your shooting lanes trimmed out and you certainly don't want to do that the day before and not the day of the hunt. So doing it far in advance is going to help me out. But I got three secret weapons that we're going to use on this hunt. The first one is my Khmer deer. And folks, I got to tell you, this Khmer deer and this three-day harvest really works. We're going to hopefully get him to stop right in his tracks on the three-day harvest. And three-day harvest means you put it out, three days later you're going to harvest your deer. And I've got three days before I'm going to hunt it. So we're going to have three-day harvest all up and down this trail. The second thing we're going to do, Mrs. Dopey. I've got some Mrs. Dopey estrus urine and we're going to make them all scrape. We're going to have them all scrape within shooting lane. And if the Khmer deer doesn't work, maybe we'll bring him in through his sexual urges. And the very last trick I've got up my sleeve is 
hunting over decoys. Now, I want you to think about this. I haven't heard of anybody who does this, but logically, a buck will not bed with a doe unless he's tending to her. And the only time he's going to be tending to her is if she's in estrus. And don't you know other bucks know that? Because they don't tend to a doe unless she's in estrus. So we've got a set of double decoys. We've got a doe decoy and a buck decoy, and we've got them in a bedded position. And we're going to put Mrs. Doe P. estrus urine on the bedded down doe. Any bucks who come in and see a bedded down doe with a tending bedded down buck, they're going to come straight in. So I got three secret weapons. One of them ought to work. Three days from now, we ought to be killing ourselves a deer. Now, you don't put the decoys out until the day you're going to hunt. So we'll have them put out, and uh, we won't do it until right before we climb up the tree. And the last thing, if you're going to leave tree stands hung, which you need to do when you hunt a caliber deer of this size, because you want the scent and you want him to be used to him being there, you got to use some kind of cover on him because you got squirrels and other varmints that'll eat the foam seats up and it's supposed to rain over the next three days and I want to protect my stands. So I've got the shed. Put the shed on and leave and then I know when I come back three days from now, my stands are going to be in perfect mint conditions. Folks, you don't want to go away. We've got some great whitetail deer hunting here at McKinn Ranch. The July 31st Annual World Deer Expo. Over a thousand booth spaces. T-Bone Turner, Bobby Brantley, Tyler Wood, RJ and J Paul, and more. Country concerts by Matt Stilwell, Jack White, Kevin Sports, and Sweet Tea. Purchase your tickets online and qualify to win $500,000. That's right, buy your tickets online by July 17th and qualify to win over a half million dollars. The July World Deer Expo, BJCC. Come home to a sparkling clean pool and manicured lawn. Birmingham's premier landscape and pool care specialist, Menard Landscape and Pool, is both convenient and consistent, offering wonderful tailored yards and beautiful sparkling pools. It's time to open your pool, and Menard Landscape and Pool has a special just for you. With pool openings as low as $99, call today, 205-563-6795. Alabama's Great Days Outdoors magazine is published 12 months a year by Alabama hunters and fishermen for Alabama hunters and fishermen. Start your next Great Day Outdoors in Alabama with a subscription to Alabama's own homegrown magazine, Alabama's Great Days Outdoors. Are you sure we should take this billboard down? People find out State Farm does car loans as well as they do insurance. Our bank is through. Good point. Grab an edge. Look, there's two guys on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. No, for real, there's two dudes on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Gentlemen, please get down from the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Bill, get the hose. Okay, he's getting the hose. Okay, let's go. Want to borrow better? Contact State Farm agent Craig Doris about a car loan that can save you hundreds. This segment of today's episode is brought to you by... Luminox, the lighted Aeronox. Folks, we're into day two now, using three-day harvest, and I had it piled up here, come here, deer, and three-day harvest, all down this trail right here, and as you can see, every bit of it is gone until you get right here, and there's just some small little portions of it, uh, left here, little morsels of it. There's uh, uh, deer droppings all in here. Uh, and I had this trail covered with it. In two days, they found it and have demolished it. There's a little more of it here, but I had really piled it up here. Man, Dana, look at this. This is the monk scrape I made two days ago. Look at this. What a turd. As big as my hand. If this was a human turd, he'd be a 500 pound man. You can't tell a whole lot about the antlers of a deer from his, from his droppings, but I'm gonna tell you what, that deer is over 200 pounds. He's a mature deer. He's probably a shooter. 
generally a buck, if he defecates, if he's going to take over another buck scrape, he's going to defecate in it. That's what we got here, folks. There's huge, huge deer tracks all in here. And just like with his droppings, if he's got a big foot, he's probably got a big body, which means he's a mature deer, which means he's probably a shooter. Gosh, you guys, you don't want to miss this. Tomorrow's the third day. We're going to harvest one on the third day. Don't y'all go away. Now I'm going to show you afternoon of day two with Glenn Hess and his elk hunt. Glenn finally spots a trophy elk. We've got the wind right, but this elk is about to get by us. Something spooked him right back to us. drop of blood right here on this tree and uh, I, we, we, we look look right here man there's a heck of a blood trail I mean he's going right down that way we're going to find this bull I mean I flat put that smack daddy on him I mean flat put it on him I said ah oh, don't you love it Woo! man look at that blood take your bomb cooker I mean, this is, we're going to find this baby. He is a monster. I mean, a monster. I say, that's lung blood right here. I mean, great big spots of it. So I got him in bo probably both lungs. And I'd say that we'll find him here just very shortly. Here, right here, right here. He's headed out toward this alfalfa field, and he's going right along the edge of the woods. Here, here, right there against the tree. We got blood right here, right here, right here. Oh, there he is! Right there he is! My gracious, look what an elk. Ain't that a monster? I mean, it's, that is a monster. Thank you, Bob Cougar. Woo! Ha! Oh! Ain't they love it now? Congratulations, Glenn. Thank you. <laughs> you put Thank the you, smack Bob whack Cougar. on him, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did. I mean, that's a dandy. I'm going to tell you, boy, he's got some long, long back scratchers, some big uh, daggers. Uh, real decent royales. This long, long eye guards. This uh, this bull here is going to score. He's going to be pushing 400. Boy, that yeah. is absolutely amazing. I guarantee you he weighs over a thousand pounds and uh, going to score close to 400. And you got him with your bow. Yep. And he liked to run happen. over us, didn't he? Yeah, he liked <laughs> to run blows off us. Folks, this was a great hunt here at McKen Ranch. Uh, we've had a great time and. Uh, the medalist, uh, medalist gear kept kept the scent contained because it was swirling a little bit. We had it in our favor when we first started, but he came from the opposite direction. Yep. And, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're fortunate we had the medalist equipment on. It uh, contained our scent and allowed us to get that shot. You made a great shot through some thick stuff. Thick cover. Thick Man. woods. Glenn Hess, folks, he put the whack daddy on him. Don't y'all go away. We got a whole lot more hunting elk hunting here at McKen Ranch. Congratulations, buddy.
Do you want to know why Long Lewis sells more Fords than anyone in central Alabama? It must be the price. So we clearly mark every vehicle with your best price right up front. There you go, plain and simple. I'm Jeff Cook from Alabama for Long Lewis Ford Lincoln, Highway 150 in Hoover. The July 31st Annual World Deer Expo. Over a thousand booth spaces. T-Bone Turner, Bobby Brantley, Tyler Wood, RJ and J Paul, and more. Country concerts by Matt Stilwell, Jack White, Kevin Sports, and Sweet Tea. Purchase your tickets online and qualify to win $500,000. That's right, buy your tickets online by July 17th and qualify to win over a half million dollars. The July World Deer Expo, BJCC. It's out there, that perfect piece of land. Perfect for hunting, fishing, recreation, or investing in the future. No lender knows land financing like First Cell, with flexible, competitive financing options up to 30 years. Go to FirstSouthLand.com or call 1-800-955-1722 to make it happen. First South Farm Credit. We finance the land. You build the memories. Equal housing lender. With 30 years of experience in German and European auto repair, Mike and Mike's Complete Auto Care has the expertise to properly repair your domestic or foreign vehicles. Specializing in Volkswagen and Audi vehicles, our factory trained technicians will give you quick and courteous service with no long downtime for your repair. Our goal is to get you in and out quickly, properly repaired without the inflated prices of our competition. Mike and Mike's Complete Auto Care. Trust us once and you'll trust us forever. Hi, I'm Jeff Cook from Alabama. Did you know that Long Lewis has won more awards for customer satisfaction than any Ford dealer in the nation? Now that's a Dixieland delight. Long Lewis Ford Lincoln on Highway 150 in Hoover. Dixieland delight. This segment of today's episode is brought to you by Argo, leader in amphibious off-road vehicles. Finally, it's the afternoon of the third day and I'm taking my decoys into my stand for my hunt. The wind is terrible all afternoon, but that doesn't stop me from seeing the big deer that I'm hunting. With the wind swirling like it is, this deer is extremely cautious. Several minutes pass before the boss hog finally decides to come on in. He doesn't see the decoy as he makes a beeline right to the three-day harvest. He's just spotted my decoy, and unfortunately for me, the head has fallen over and he doesn't look natural at all. Just as I was afraid of, the unnatural look of my decoy has alerted this cagey animal, and his wisdom is outweighing his curiosity. The wind is about to blow me out of this tree. I have just missed out on the buck of a lifetime. The July 31st Annual World Deer Expo. Over a thousand booth spaces. T-Bone Turner, Bobby Brantley, Tyler Wood, RJ and J Paul, and more. Country concerts by Matt Stilwell, Jack White, Kevin Sports, and Sweet Tea. Purchase your tickets online and qualify to win $500,000. That's right, buy your tickets online by July 17th and qualify to win over a half million dollars. The July World Deer Expo, BJCC. 
Are you sure we should take this billboard down? People find out State Farm does car loans as well as they do insurance. Our bank is through. Good point. Grab an edge. Look, there's two guys on the State Farm Borrow Better banking sign. No, for real, there's two dudes on the State Farm Borrow Better banking sign. Gentlemen, please get down from the State Farm Borrow Better banking sign. Phil, get the hose. Okay, he's getting the hose. All right, let's go. Want to borrow better? Contact State Farm agent Craig Doris about a car loan that can save you hundreds. I'm Tyler Jordan from Realtree Camouflage, here to tell you about Misty Morning Outfitters in Central Kansas. Ryan Warden has thousands of acres, hunting white-tailed deer, turkey, waterfowl, goose, pheasant, and quail hunt. If you're looking for a hunt of a lifetime, Kansas is the place to be, and Misty Morning has it all. For more information, contact Ron at 620-708-8540 or email mistymorningoutfitters at yahoo.com. This is the Tree Stand Buddy, the easiest, safest way ever to hang your stand. With the receiver on the tree and the bracket on the stand, simply slide your stand into place. Attach the tree stand strap. You never carry your stand up the tree. Tree Stand Buddy works on virtually any hang-on stand. I put a receiver in every tree I hunt and take my stand with me. It's that easy. Learn more at treestandbuddy.com. This segment of today's episode is brought to you by American Broadheads, Zero Plane Technology. Five minutes left and it'll be too dark to shoot. I see the hoss slipping back in, so I decided to go ahead and turn the light on my pins. With no wind, he's still just as leery. I'm about to run out of daylight, and he just won't give me a broadside shot. He kept looking to my left, which meant there was something else in that field, and I was certain he would eventually turn that way and give me a broadside shot. So I decided to go ahead and draw my bow. Did you see that? That is a monster. <laughs> thank you, Lord. 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 That is a monster, monster deer. I can't believe he didn't go down, though. He's got blood all over his side. You seen it? Yeah. It had gotten so dark, I looked, and folks, I know the camera lightens things up, and it was so dark I couldn't, I had to turn the light on on my pins, and then I couldn't really see exactly where I was putting the, uh, the pins on the deer, so I had to shoot with both my eyes open, which is the way you're supposed to hunt anyway, but I wasn't able to, you know, I, I closed one eye when I hunt. But I had to shoot both eyes open just so I could see where the pins were on the deer. We're going to give him plenty of time to bed down and, and expire, and then we're going to go find this big baby.
That is a monster. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Well, folks, uh, I hit him just a hair to the right of where I wanted to hit him. I was trying to shoot him right in the shoulder. And I was having to shoot almost instinctively because with the, it had gotten so dark with the lighted pins, I just couldn't see the deer without opening both my eyes and it, I wasn't able to look through my peak. So I had to shoot him instinctively. I hit slightly to the right and on a deer of this caliber, uh, Dana convinced me we needed to wait until in the morning and get up at first daylight and go find him. That gives him a chance to bed down. Uh, Dana got a good look at him with his binoculars and he said there was blood all over his uh, left side uh, as he was uh, running off. So we're just going to let him bed down for the night. We'll find him first thing in the morning. Decided to give him all night to expire. I, I didn't hit him exactly where I wanted him where I wanted the shot to be so I decided just to give him all night. We got here and for some reason he wasn't bleeding. Uh, we couldn't find hardly any blood at all and uh, makes it tough to find so we just spread out started looking for him. Uh, it's been several hours and uh, Bill Brown knew where there was a little pot, little watering hole area and usually when an animal's fatally wounded he goes to water and Bill just hollered at me and told me he's found him over here so we're gonna go right over there to him. Let's go get him. Just right in here. He is, Bob. All right. <laughs> Man, what a haul. Thank you, Bill Brown. Barry not, Brown. You're not going to believe Look at this, folks. Look at this. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Barry. Congratulations. Yes, thank you, fellas. I appreciate it. Man, what a haul. Man, what a haul. Man, that's an unbelievable lifetime. Oh, 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 folks. Look at this! Look at this, folks! Well, folks, I have just taken myself a buck of a lifetime. This thing's going to score over 200 points, Boone and Crockett. That's some bone, isn't it? That is plenty of bone, for Man, sure. Man, what do you think about that, Harry? Man, I can't believe it. This is by far the biggest deer, not only that I've ever killed, the biggest deer I've ever seen in the woods alive. And he got inside the dead zone, folks. The limb saver dead zone bow put it to him, smack daddy to him. I don't understand why he didn't leave us a blood trail. It was a little bit, little bit back of where I wanted to be. I wanted to be in the shoulder, but it should have brought him right down. And uh, Bill knew about this water here, and he figured that uh, the buck probably, if he was mortally wounded, was going to head to water. And sure enough, that's where you found him. That's Ended up. Man, I owe you a steak dinner tonight. Uh, I'll collect. All right, you need to get your wife to fly up here. I owe her one too. That'll work. But I ain't paying for her airfare though. Congratulations. Folks, Saskatchewan, Canada, McKinn Ranch, if you want to kill monster, monster white-tailed deer, Saskatchewan, Canada is the land of the giants, and McKinn Ranch has got your number. Call the number at the bottom of the screen. I come up here every year. I'll bring you up here with me. I'll film you hunt, put you on TV. I can't promise you you're going to kill a world record like this, but I guarantee you you're going to kill a buck of a lifetime. McKinn Ranch, Saskatchewan, Canada. Thanks, Barry. <laughs> you know it, bro. Thanks, Bill. Folks, till next week, shoot them straight, be safe, and may God bless. We'll see you next week on Outdoors with Bob Coker. We're going to have to get the Argo to get him out of here, huh? Definitely. You know it. Oh, All right. <laughs> yes, sir. We're going to need three Argos. Let me try. <laughs> <laughs>